So today we're working with uh, Sarah Gasbara, uh, someone I've known for about five years, uh, to install a culinary garden in front of Commons Club. The thing that I really am excited about regarding this garden is that it's accessible to the public. A lot of my projects are on a rooftop or tucked away someplace, and really the only people that get to interact with it are the kitchen um, and the staff. And this is on the patio, so people passing by can see it. People sitting on the patio and enjoying a cocktail can engage with it. And I think that that makes it really special um, because it serves two purposes. It serves the kitchen, but it also serves the visitors and patrons of the hotel. Starting as soon as this week, we're gonna begin picking herbs. Nasturtium is a great example. Uh, it looks like a little lily pad and you can rest it on the top of a cocktail. Nasturtium in the spring um, has this wonderful peppery note, almost like arugula, but in late summer, it tastes really citrusy. So maybe instead of putting it on top of a martini as we would in the spring or, or early summer, at the end of the season, we'll put it in a gin and tonic. I am really excited about mostly the herbs because that's kind of where I come in with the cocktails. We have some amazing lavender coming in and basil, mint. It's just gonna be incredible for the summertime and the, the beautiful flavors that we're gonna be able to pull from that. One that we're really excited about putting on the summer menu, we're doing a rhubarb lavender shrub as a cocktail. And I'm so excited that we're gonna be able to say that that comes from our own garden that we plant. It's just a really beautiful thing that's happening here at Virgin Hotels that you don't get to say that in a lot of restaurants, let alone hotels, which is really, really cool. For me, the most important thing about this journey is the education I can give my staff. Because once everything starts going really well, I'm definitely going to have them every day taste stuff, this, that, whatever, you know, any leftovers or whatever we have, you know, that we can create specials with. I mean, I feel very fortunate. I have a very diverse team right now. I mean, from people, you know, from Guatemala, from Mexico, um, you know, I got a couple homies from all over Chicago, or, you know, we have one um, cook back there, she's half uh, Salvadorian, you know? So it's just, it's just interesting for like, when I show them Asian culture or my Hawaiian background, you know, they might taste something from their culture that I've never had and be like, well, this would be great with that. It would be a beautiful collaboration with everybody, you know? And you talk about, you know, global cuisine, can't really get any more global than that. And it's amazing.